In this short video, we will show how to easily and quickly do an inline update on a production model running on an Edge endpoint with a better performing model. This tutorial is available on our docs page and can be used with the free community edition linked in the description below. Now, if you want to see the steps to deploy a model to an Edge endpoint, check out the video for deploying serve models to the Edge in this playlist. So what we'll do in the first part here we will start with uploading the champion model which in our use case is based on the house price prediction model and then we'll build the pipeline for deployment and once we've done that then we'll run a sample inference to test this so so we can see that we're ready to deploy and i'll take a few seconds to go through and then we can look at the outcome. So the great thing about Waller is the deployment takes a matter of seconds instead of days or weeks. And so we'll run a single row uh, inference against this and uh, we can see that we're deployed. And so we can see our output result there of like 718. And so we're now deployed, we're, we're running. So what we'll do next is we're gonna deploy the original pipeline to an edge device. And so what you'll see is this will take us through publishing the pipeline. So that will publish the pipeline to the OCI registry. We'll also add the edge location to the pipeline publish, and then we'll deploy at the edge. And so we'll deploy the edge device with the edge location settings. And then once we've got that, then what we have here is we want to then uh, perform again a sample inference on the current model edge deployment to demonstrate how the inferences change as the models are updated through the inline update deployment. So with the model deployed in the edge location, we can perform that sample inference. And then in this example, our host name is test boy local. And, uh, and then you can adjust the host name to fit your edge location deployment as you see fit. So that, that's entirely up to you. So we can see here, the kernel command. <clears throat> and then, yeah. So there we go. So we've got our output uh, as expected. So, so next what we'll do is we'll replace a pipeline publish. And what this does is this creates a new publish from the most recent pipeline version. And it'll take a few of the following parameters that you see here in the notebook. Now what we're doing here is that we are replacing a pipeline publish with a new publish from a pipeline version. And in this procedure, our edge location has an existing model edge deployment. The publish that is used for that deployment is replaced. And an inline update of the model deployment is performed on the edge device. And so what we'll do is we'll use the same pipeline and update the pipeline steps with a new model. And so that's what we're, we're seeing here. And then once we've done that, we will deploy the pipeline with that new model, and then we'll go through and perform the a new inference request uh, the same way we did that test in the previous part. Now from this, we will be able to see that this new model outputs a slightly different prediction than the previous one did. So this one should be closer to 650K, and then from our pipeline, we will be able then to publish that new version. So what we'll see here is that, uh, you know, we have our, uh, our steps to go through. We'll inference this one. And so you can see here that uh, we have our inference request. We're going to run the models command. And then once we've done that, it takes a couple of seconds. And then from here, we'll be able to then uh, double check that our inline model update has taken and is successful. So we can see here, we can see our output here from the record, and we have our infer command, and then we have our 659, and this will see the new model name and the, and the model version used. And so what we've done in a few minutes here is replace the new model to an edge device in line without taking down that environment. So super easy, thank you.